In today's show, Bitcoin miners can take a fresh 20% Bitcoin price hit before capitulating new data shows. Quoting venture founder here, the worst dumps Bitcoin ever had were due to minor capitulation in December 2018 and March 2020. When Bitcoin fell below production costs, it is at risk for minor capitulation. Bitcoin was at risk for minor capitulation at 30000 in May. The current production cost is 34000 20% below the current price. And this just in breaking news, Rio de Janeiro mayor announces 10% discount on taxes paid in Bitcoin, as well as pro-Bitcoin rapper Logic set to perform live at the Bitcoin conference in April. And OKCoin OK CEO says $100,000 Bitcoin price shouldn't be a problem. And this just in breaking news, UFC heavyweight champ Francis Naganyu, the baddest man on the planet, says, been talking with my family and friends in the crypto space. Bitcoin is huge in Africa, and I'm thinking of taking half my fight purse in it. Bitcoin is the future, and I'm a believer. And remember Missouri Mayor Jason Stewart? He vowed to give all residents $1,000 in Bitcoin. Well, now Northwest Arkansas is offering $10,000 in Bitcoin to people who settle in the region. Quoting them here, we're offering remote tech professionals and entrepreneurs $10,000 in Bitcoin to bring your talents to the region. Why Bitcoin? Northwest Arkansas is experiencing explosive growth in the tech sector, specifically within blockchain-enabled technologies. And this incentive embraces the growing trend of cryptocurrency as a payment option by employers. Also in today's show, remember I broke the news of Rio de Janeiro to hold 1% of its reserves in Bitcoin. Well, today we're going to be discussing further what's Rio Crypto and sharing the latest updates and breaking news surrounding this story. And yesterday, Daniela Cambone of Stansbury Research released the latest interview with Max Kaiser, revealing his new prediction for 2022, which is rolling over his prediction from 2021 of $220,000 per BTC and says that he plans to exit gold and silver completely. And also he predicts that a G7 country will start mining Bitcoin and quoting him here regarding technical analysts. Technical analysts are 100% correct when looking backwards. They're 100% correct in predicting the past. I don't know of a single technical analyst billionaire in the world. Technical analysis is essentially astrology for men. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and all the major alts are currently pumping back in the green. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here come the news alerts. I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs along with a $100,000 Bitcoin price. And if you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. And real quick, before I kick off today's show, today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. They have a special promo they're running right now where you can get up to $250 in Bitcoin for funding your account today. And their flagship products include their BlockFi interest account, where you can earn up to a 9% APY with no minimum balance and no hidden fees. And of course, you can buy, sell, and trade the top cryptocurrencies instantly 24-7. 365 and also have a BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards Visa credit card where you can earn 3.5% Bitcoin back on all your purchases within your first 90 days, then get an unlimited 1.5% back in Bitcoin on everything you buy thereafter. And they also offer crypto back loans where you can borrow against your crypto at rates as low as 4.5%. APR with no prepayment penalties, no impact to your credit, and receive the funds the same business day. Truly making this a no-brainer. So go ahead and click my referral link in the description right down below and get up to $250 in Bitcoin for funding your account today. And let's start stacking those sats, shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, crypto fam? Holla at your boy in the live chat. Now, the Bitcoin mining business is bigger than ever at the current Bitcoin price levels. New data shows just how unlikely a mass miner sell-off really is. As noted by popular Twitter account Venture Founder on January 14th, even at 42000 the Bitcoin slash USD trading pair is around 20% above miners cost price. And despite falling a full $27,000 below all-time highs, which is roughly a 40% drawdown, Bitcoin is more enticing than ever for miners. Hash rate, an estimate of the total processing power dedicated to mining, recently reached new all-time highs this week. And as Max Kaiser points out, the Bitcoin price follows the hash rate. Now, those concerned that a fresh Bitcoin price dip could pressure miners into selling, meanwhile receive fresh assurances via data covering how much Bitcoin slash USD should trade at for them to break even. 
and referencing the Bitcoin price production cost indicator from Charles Edwards, the CEO of asset manager Capriole Investments. Venture founder revealed that the break-even point currently stands at $34,000. As he reveals here on crypto Twitter, the worst dumps Bitcoin has ever had were due to minor capitulation in December 2018 and March 2020 when Bitcoin fell below production costs. It is at risk for minor capitulation. Bitcoin was at risk for minor capitulation at 30,000 in May. The current production cost is 34,000, which is 20% below the current price. And as such, there is no reason for miners to sell thanks to the profitability as well as future perspectives of their operations. In a Medium post about his indicator from 2019, Edwards additionally noted that transaction fees awarded to miners give them additional cushion against spot price incursions below production costs. Quoting him here, historically, the electrical costs produce a Bitcoin has represented a price floor in the Bitcoin market price. And as previously reported, miners are indeed voting with their wallets as Bitcoin consolidates below $50,000. And rather than selling, miners and mass have been accumulating BTC more this month than last month during the highs. Incoming Bitcoin supply shock, just saying. This speaks both to a healthy balance sheet and resolves over the future. Fears of economic difficulties on the horizon are not currently weighing on the mining sector. And as you can see here, the hash rate reached in a new all-time high of 260 16.9 exahashes per second. And going forward, the current worst case scenario estimates among well-known analysts foresee a Bitcoin price floor no lower than $30,000. Now, personally, I feel that the low is currently in when we hit $39,600, but that's just me. Let me know your honest thoughts and feedback in the comments right down below. And also more breaking news, UFC heavyweight champ Francis Nganyu, the baddest mofo on the planet, says, been talking with my friends and fam in the crypto space. Bitcoin is huge in Africa, and I'm thinking of taking half my fight purse in it. Bitcoin is the future, and I'm a believer. I think that's epic. I think more athletes, and especially in the UFC, need to start getting paid in Bitcoin. Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the greatest appreciating asset in human history. Just saying. And before I break down next story of the day, Northwest Arkansas offers $10,000 in Bitcoin to people who settle in the region, as well as Rio de Janeiro will hold 1% of its reserves in Bitcoin. And we discuss what is Rio Crypto, as well as I share with you the highlights from this new interview with Max Kaiser and Daniela Cambone, where Max Kaiser predicts that a G7 country will start mining Bitcoin. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, all the major crypto Cryptos are pumping and in the green with Bitcoin up 1% for the day, maintaining just above $42,600. This morning when I woke up, we were just above $43,000. Ether is up 1.6%, trading just under $3,300. Solana, one of the few major cryptos in the red today, down 0.5%. 15% trading just above 144 bucks. We have Luna up almost 5% trading above $81 and Cardano up just 1% trading at $1.25. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Northwest Arkansas is widely regarded as one of the top places to live in the United States due to its job opportunities and low cost of living. But despite its advantages, the region consists of mere 540,000 inhabitants. And to attract more individuals to settle in the area, the local authorities have launched a crypto program, and according to it, tech professionals and entrepreneurs can apply for $10,000 in Bitcoin if they move to live there. Now, the president and CEO of Northwest Arkansas Council, Nelson Peacock, presented more details on the offer, quoting him here, we're offering remote tech professionals and entrepreneurs $10,000 in Bitcoin to bring your talents to the region. Why Bitcoin? Northwest Arkansas is experiencing explosive growth in the tech sector, specifically within blockchain-enabled technologies, and this incentive embraces the growing trend of cryptocurrency as a payment option by employers. Now, it's worth noting that people can still choose to receive the $10,000 in cash instead in the form of Bitcoin. And in addition, the authorities would also give away a mountain bicycle to those willing to call Northwest Arkansas their new home. The bike would help the newcomers as the area consists of hundreds of miles of biking trails that have made outdoor enthusiasts flock to this part of America. And as you might remember, last summer, the mayor of Cool Valley, Jason Stewart, revealed intentions to give each of the town's 1,500 residents either $500 or $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. The politician who called cryptocurrencies digital gold opined that the asset class could transform the lives of the inhabitants and make them wealthy. That's right. And quoting Mayor Jason Stewart here, I have friends whose lives have been completely changed, like going from working a regular nine to five job to being worth over $80 million in a matter of a few years, Stewart said at the time. And nonetheless, his crypto plan came with a catch as recipients would not be able to sell their Bitcoin for five years. They must hodl. Thus, residents would benefit the most as the Bitcoin price of the leading digital asset might hit half a million dollars by then, the mayor said. That's right. We're talking about a half a million dollar BTC potentially within the next five years. 
I feel it's a given and only a matter of time. And what are your thoughts about the game theory in the United States kicking in with now Northwest Arkansas offering $10,000 to people to become residents of that region following Mayor Jason Stewart offering $1,000 to Missouri residents? I think it's pretty cool and expect it to continue in 2022. And before I break down our next breaking story of the day, will Rio de Janeiro hold 1% of its reserves in Bitcoin? And what exactly is Rio Crypto, as well as I showed the latest highlights from Max Kaiser in this new interview, where he predicts that a G7 country will start mining Bitcoin. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting just above that $2 trillion milestone with $73 billion in volume in the past 24 hours, and the Bitcoin dominance back on the decline at a 39.5% low, with the Ether dominance at 19.2%. And checking out the top gainers here in the crypto market, we have Chickenzilla up a whopping 13000 300% like whoa, followed by Bitcoin Rectangular, which I never heard of, up 6,400%, trading at $5.12, followed by Bitcoin up over 5,200%. Now, obviously, these are ish coins, but they are the top gainers within the crypto market. And which altcoins are you most bullish on for 2022? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 23 out of 100 in Extreme Fear. Yesterday a 21, last week a 10, which is a low, and last month a 29 in Fear. But all right, now let's break down our next breaking story of the day. Will Rio de Janeiro be the first South American city to hold Bitcoin on its balance sheet? Maybe, but then again, maybe not. In Brazil, the official numbers show a 10% inflation for 2021, and Rio de Janeiro is making moves. That much is for sure. The city plans to offer a 10% discount on taxes to people willing to pay them in BTC, as I shared with you earlier in the show, and also create their own cryptocurrency in a move similar to Miami's. But is Rio de Janeiro making the correct moves, though? Will the plan go from thought to action? Will the people spend their BTC on taxes? And what's Rio Crypto all about? Is it necessary? Let's explore the facts. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez appeared via the internet for conversation with Rio de Janeiro Mayor Eduardo Pace. This was the Rio Innovation Week event. What did Pace announce? That's up for debate. According to Live Coins, a report most of the Bitcoin community is quoting is the following. Rio de Janeiro will publish this Friday a decree establishing a working group to deal with the issues of buying Bitcoin for the city's reserve. However, according to a newspaper called O Globo, we are going to launch Crypto Rio and invest 1% of the treasury in cryptocurrency, said Pace, who is publishing a decree on Friday establishing a working group on the topic. Now, what's the difference? The untrained eye may ask. Bitcoin is one thing, the best money ever created, but cryptocurrency can mean many different things. So which one is Mary Eduardo Pace talking about? Does he know the difference between Bitcoin and crypto? And better yet, should we believe live coins or O Globo? And then there's the working group. Is a committee necessary? Will the committee deliver? Is it a real plan or just something to announce? At the conference, this is not entirely true for now. The mayor of Rio did not specify that the investment will be made in Bitcoin. The original context of his speech was we're going to launch Crypto Rio and invest 1% of the treasury in cryptocurrency. And in any case, Livecoins quotes Mayor Pace saying, today's world revolves much more around a network of cities, the so-called global cities. Miami and Rio are global cities attracting people, functions, and organizations. This international dialogue is very important. Now let's discuss Rio Crypto. Another committee is working on on this, the expectation, according to the city's official publication, is that the working group will deliver the results within 90 days. That's according to Live Coins, who quotes the official gazette of the state of Rio de Janeiro, saying the following, Crypto Rio, Rio de Janeiro's digital currency, will also be able to help expand resources for strategic projects in the city. The experts will also assess the possibility of the municipality making treasury investments in cryptocurrencies. The results of the studies will be released by the working group within 90 days from the publication of the decree. And before I break down the highlights from this new interview with Max Kaiser, saying his $220,000 Bitcoin call is coming and plans to exit gold and silver completely and predicts that a G7 country will start mining Bitcoin. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,000 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my crypto merch store, which is now live at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog that I update daily, which can be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to receive daily 
premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. In a recent interview with Stansbury Research, American broadcaster and host of the Orange Pill Pod, Max Kaiser, predicts that a G7 country mining Bitcoin will kickstart a new hash rate war, which he compares to the space race between the US and the Soviet Union that kicked off when the latter launched the Sputnik 1 satellite into Earth orbit in 19. 57, quoting him here, I think once a country in the G7 starts to accumulate and mine Bitcoin, it will set off like a space race. Now, Kaiser says such a scenario is a 100% guaranteed certainty. Now, last year, as we all know, El Salvador, the smallest nation in Central America, with a population just over 5 million, announced it would build a Bitcoin city at the base of the Conchaga volcano, whose geothermal energy will be used for mining. However, due to the game theory built into the Bitcoin protocol, he says other countries will not let El Salvador grow its mining industry unchallenged. The Bitcoin hash rate recently staged a V-shaped recovery, hitting new all-time highs after dropping due to turmoil in Kazakhstan. Now, Kaiser described China's decision to ban Bitcoin mining as really stupid. And Kaiser says that the drawdown is not particularly worrisome, sticking to his $220,000 Bitcoin price prediction. How many of you agree with Max Kaiser that we're likely to see a $220,000 Bitcoin price this year in 2022? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now, the pundit was highly critical of trading, claiming he doesn't know of a single technical analyst billionaire quoting him right here technical analysts are 100 correct when looking backwards they are 100 correct in predicting the past i don't know of a single technical analyst billionaire in the world technical analysis is essentially astrology for men and this tweet has been getting a lot of love and receiving a lot of controversy here on crypto twitter now let's discuss bitcoin to infinity kaiser expects bitcoin to go up to infinity against the u.s dollar speaking of the u.s federal reserves tapering kaiser along long-term critic of the central bank said that it was impossible to taper a Ponzi scheme. That, my friend, is a fact. They're not going to taper. They're going to print. That's right. So expect more money printer continuing to go and Bitcoin price continuing to rise in 2022. And he also accuses the government of masking inflation numbers, which we all know is a fact. The government only reports, what, 6% inflation. Max says it's more like 15%. And I think even still, he is being conservative. If you look on your local real estate market on Zillow, you can see real estate increasing roughly 30% per year. And quoting Max again here, insider trading by politicians who make the laws that impact those companies. That's a conflict of interest. That's anathema to the tenants of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. It's anti-constitutional and anti-American. So there you have it, Max Kaiser dropping truth bombs. And to watch this entire interview with Max Kaiser and Daniela Cambona Stansbury Research of him making this $220,000 Bitcoin price prediction for this year in 2022, as well as his prediction that a G7 country will start mining Bitcoin. Check the show notes below the video in the description. And now for a quick recap of what I cover with you here in today's show, Bitcoin miners can take a fresh 20% Bitcoin price hit before capitulating new data shows, as well as Northwest Arkansas offering $10,000 in Bitcoin to people who settle in the region. We also discussed will Rio de Janeiro, Brazil hold 1% of its reserves in Bitcoin or crypto? And we also discuss what is Rio Crypto. And of course, I covered the latest predictions from Max Kaiser as well as the highlights from this new interview. But already for the Bitcoin price is likely to go next. Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, eCoin wrote, Aloha Friday JV, Tonga, Brazil, mass adoption for reals. Have a good weekend, bruh. Hoddle, Aloha eCoin and happy Friday fam. Yes, go Tonga and Brazil, mass BTC adoption. Bring it, have a blessed weekend. Hoddle. And our next feature comment comes from Nate who wrote, Fred Flintstone loves Bitcoin and Wilma does too. Yabba dabba do. Go Bitcoin. Thumbs up to Tonga and Brazil and thumbs up to another great video. JV, you know it, Nate, as you said, yabba dabba do, or should I say, yabba dabba hoddle. Just saying. And our third and final comment comes from Gary Gillis, who wrote, you said that Rio putting 1% of their reserves in BTC wasn't like El Salvador because El Salvador only has about 6.7 million people, while Brazil has over 200 million. Rio also has about 6.7 million people, the exact same as El Salvador. Brazil isn't putting any of their reserves in BTC, the city of Rio is. And I responded, that is correct, Gary. It's exciting because it's another major stepping stone towards mass. BTC adoption. Also note that Rio de Janeiro or simply Rio is the second most populous city in Brazil and the sixth most populous in the Americas. Another domino has fallen and to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment 
right down below. But that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this, and help me get to 100,000 subs along with $100,000 Bitcoin price. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.